Welcome back to Shining Tears, everybody. Uh, let's see. I think I just finished forging some weapons. So let's head back to Tavern, our base of operations, as it were. I cannot understand why people will not help in a time of crisis like this. Do not these people hold any love for their country? I guess not. If Ryuna fights, so do I. Oh, we've done that thing before. I wonder if the Temple of Etwar and the Idol are defiled. I am deeply worried. Maybe the enemy has snuck and sucked some special forces into Sh Shieldia. Probably. Speak of Fios. It would appear that the enemy has a clandestine presence within Shieldia. That must be how they know our plans. Check enemy cards. I, I just just add it. <laughs> just add the new one, dude. Oh, um, a homunculus that was given life through unknown means. Oh, well, that is a freaky looking golem. It's got a face on its stomach and chest. If the dwarves were our allies, our fighting force would be all the better for it. It helps to have stubborn folk on your side. But it's hard to convince stubborn folk to join you. Oh, okay, so... Sometimes, during battle, enemies draw cards. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to spark some other thing. Because the story has not progressed and I talked to everybody in the tavern. I heard that Vice Ritter's been called into action. Looks like old Volg is back in the business. But all of those mercenaries who used to bum around the Hero's Earth seem to have just up and disappeared. Sadly, yes, yes, they have. Giants are really huge. Like, way bigger than my dad, even. It's kind of scary. King Balboa is a great man who has done many wonderful things for this country. I'm very disappointed to see that he's cloistered himself up within his castle ever since the war broke out. So am I. friend of mine says that he saw someone creeping about the Denobola Plateau. This might be like the incident at the Dwarven Caverns. Be on your guard. One second. King Balboa has a great knack for monetary matters and has brought tremendous wealth to Shieldia. However, such skills are all but useless when it comes to war. Man, he hired a bunch of mercenaries to, 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 to protect him, and look how much good that's done. You need to have a standing army. With the right analog stick, you can fine-tune your partner's movements. I, I know. I've been trying to do that. It's not easy. That's a smithy. I don't need a smithy. I hear that Her Holiness, the Lady Ryuna, has joined up the, with Vice Ritter. Were I not wounded, I would not let her put herself in such peril, but alas... I, I see shadows welling up from within the nation of Shildia itself. Please be careful. We've been informed that a suspicious fellow has been seen at the Denobola Plateau. Would you please go check it out? I guess that's our next stop. Since peace has persisted in Shildia for so long, the citizenry have grown fearful of the prospect of fighting. If a real war ever broke out, I don't know what we'd do. Well, you have an army on the other side of the walls. I think of, I think they were safe to say a war is starting to break out. Yes. I 
go to the No Noble of Plateau? Or maybe I need to go back to the Hero's Way to report in. Commander, about strengthening our forces, do you have any thoughts other than the dwarves? Oh, wrong button. Hmm. You might consider asking the giants. Yet the giants also bear no real love of outsiders. Do you think that they would be willing to help us? I don't know, but what choice do we have? Hey, uh... Hi! You! Commander, it's been so long! <laughs> oh great, things just got better, things just get better and better. Well, if it isn't Mao. What could have, you, what could have brought you here? I got a letter for you from His Highness. Bet you didn't know I'm one of the King's Balboa's personal agents, huh? No. I did not know that. Hmm. But why you, eh? He's got other agents. I volunteered. I heard that you got left behind when all the other mercs ran away. What did you just say? I want to help. Good. I was hoping you'd be a party member. I'm not so bad off that I need your finicky aid. Ooh. Harsh. Don't be so... Don't be a sourpuss. You shouldn't discriminate just because you're a dog and I'm a cat, you know. Hey, you. Aren't you in Vice Ritter? Yes, I just joined up recently, but... Wow, Wolfie must be really hard up if he's letting shifty kids like you into the outfit. <laughs> oh, gosh. Shifty? Commander, who is this girl? Don't listen to her, Zeon. She's just a mewling brat who used to freeload off of my inn here. Hey, who are you calling a mewling brat? My name's Mao. Don't let my cute looks fool you. I'm one of the leaders of King Balboa's inner circle of agents. Oh, wow. You mentioned a message? Oh, yeah. Here it is. No, I'm not helping you. Yep. <laughs> Damn you, Balboa. What does it say? Here, you read it. We hereby consign all military matters to Vice Ritter and grant permission to employ any means necessary in ensuring the safety and defense of Shilia. However, in light of the inability of the Crown to provide any additional troops, support, or funding, Vice Ritter must make due in this task under its own means. We expect great things of you all. Signed, His Majesty King Balboa. By my canines, I cannot believe the nerve of that swan. It seems that he could not spare any surplus of the budget despite being freaking rich. King Ipu couldn't do much. I heard the royal guardsmen were threatening to split if they got stuck in Vice Ritter. Damn it. What the hell is wrong with these people? Can't any of them see how much danger this country is in? Commander, where are you going? I'm going to go ask you. I'm going to go and ask the giants for their help. Right now, we need anything we can get. Xeon, come with me. Hey, take me with you. I was going to say, take the cat girl. Why the hell would we want to do that? Because she's cute. I said before that I wanted to help, and you are lacking in soldiers, right? Hmm. Hi. We're supposed to win a war when we're up against Ashley the Sage and Holy Knight Sharon? Please. Those mercs might have been cowards and boozers, but at least they had the sense to hoof it out of you. Just who is this ditzy Mao girl, anyway? It seems she and the commander have a bit of history, at any rate. King Balboa certainly turned out to be a big disappointment, huh? And here I had heard that he was this great ruler, too. Balboa ignores Ryuna's request. Unforgivable. 
It appears that Miss Mao and the Commander are already acquainted with one another. Yes, they are. I fear the Commander may have got some strong dislike for her, though, from the way that they were quarreling. Since His Highness has refused our request for aid, we have only the power of the rings to rely on. I do not like this. Neither do I, but, you know. Cowards do coward, you know, cowards will be cowards. Oh, I don't have her on the, I don't have her on the thing yet. Uh, heave out. Don't heave yet. Oh, I should have said heave out and don't heave yet, but it says don't leave yet. Just heave out. The warmth of snow. Meter of the Giants, Dongo. We know situation with Runegeist, but it no concern for giants. Listen, Shieldra is going to be crushed by their forces. Please help us. Commander, giants no like war, even small war. We no help you. It no good. Please, thousands of lives are on the line. We sorry, Commander, but we no can help. Yeah. Monsters. I bet it monsters. What's wrong? Monsters are attacking. What? Father is up on mountain. I run off to save myself, and he get left behind. Oh no. Please do something. If not, monsters kill him. Commander, we've got to help him. Right. Wait. Mao? The footing around the quarry is way too shaky. Do you think a gimpy old dog like you can handle it? What did you just call me? How about letting me and Mr. Shifty here and go rescue Daddy, huh? Could you please stop calling me that? Leave it to little old Slim. Leave it to little old Slim and Slinky me. Don't worry, kiddo. I'll save your dad. Fine, Mao. It's making my canines think, but I'll let you prove yourself. I guess you can teach old dogs new tricks. Xeon, the ring! Give me the ring! <laughs> She's excited. Huh? The twin dragon ring? Yeah, yeah, gimme. Hey, wait. How do you know about the rings? I was wondering that myself, but... Oh, you know, whatever. <laughs> Oopsie. It wasn't supposed to go this way. You wait right there, kiddo. Here, kiddo. Oh, wow. I'm all tingly. These rings rock. I agree. Let us hurry and rescue the giant. Again, not a murder hobo. Now you're talking. I like when he doesn't have murderous intent. I just don't know what changed. in approaching and killing things. Oh, nice. There's still things down here? Huh. I 
guess those are undead things because their their corpses are still on the ground or something. Oh, I think. Hold on a second. That is such a weird targeting mechanic. It goes behind you. That's weird. I'm getting any hero rewards this time. somewhere. Make a bet I missed a chest somewhere. Yep, I did. And only defeated 74%? Huh. Yeah, still, not terrible. Oh, thank you for rescuing my dad, cat lady. Well, I'm glad he's safe, little big man. <laughs> little big man. Yeah, me too. Commander, I owe you debt for Gonza's life. Yeah, well, thanks Zeon and Mao, not me. Now, what about the alliance we proposed? Ah, yes. Let, let me think on it, yes? You're changing your mind? I will speak with others again. I know not. I not know if they agree, but you saved Gonza's life, so alliance may be. Thank you, Giant. I contact you soon. Very well then. All right, we're done here for now. So now, why is the sneaky cat here again? I want to be friends with all of you from now on. I'm irresistible, right? Of course I am. Why do I feel like you're just going to betray us at some point? As much as I like you. Oh, please. What are you cat- what are you caterwauling about, Mal? Ooh, that's a new word. Give me a second here. I must look this up. C A T E R. Don't know. Caterwauling. Caterwaul. To utter long wailing cries as cats in rutting time. Okay. To utter a similar sound, howler screech. To quarrel like cats. <laughs> what are you caterwauling about now? <laughs> I'm saying that I want to join Vice Ritter. You what? Well, I mean, you've got, like, way too few people here. You could use a cute soldier like me. You're dreaming, cat. Get your, just get your stuff together and go back to Balboa. Now, now, Commander. It would be foolish to turn down any assistance we are offered at this point. Oh, Doc, I love you. See? You like me. I, er, that is... Watch yourself, Pios. You don't want to encourage too much of a good thing there. Um, yes, of course. Hey, 
Everything down below was ready. Down below... There's a room built underneath the inn for secret vice ritter briefings. Whoa, I had no idea. That's pretty cool. From here on out, we'll use that as our headquarters. We can do our planning here before heading out to Balance. Uh, hi. There's the possibility that Moongeist forces have infiltrated the city. We ought to step up the intensity of the patrols within our walls. I'm glad that we were able to save that kid's dad. Mal and the commander seem to be pretty chummy with one another. I wonder what their relationship is. Mao seems too cheerful. I am suspicious. Miss Mao must be a very kind young woman to have risked herself on behalf of that giant child. What dark architect is pulling the enemy's strings? I am most curious. Damn that Balboa. He'll do anything to save a bit of cash. And his own hide. He treats us mercs like garbage. And then there's Mao. She hadn't shown her face in years, and now, suddenly... I agree. It's a little too convenient. I, I understand wholeheartedly. No, not quitting game. Looks like the mirrors are ready. Uh, let's see. Zeon. Oh, sorry. Yawn attack. Yes, what is it? Have you not noticed, Zeon? This otherworldly mirror here. I, I did, that's why I was looking at it. Otherworldly mirror? Yes, as its name suggests, this mirror is a portal to another world. Gosh! Yes, a world that is at once so similar and yet so different from our own. Whatever does that mean? This is a peculiar antiquity that I managed to get my hands on many years ago. I had never I had never imaged, imagined that recent events... Well, at any rate, the one thing that I can say is that the flow of time within this mirror is different from that of our world. What do you mean? In essence, if you were to spend several days in the world in, in the world within the mirror, only a moment would pass on our side of it. Only a moment? So, then... Yes, using the mirror, we can carry out full-scale training exercises in but a moment. But, is that really safe? I mean, this mirror is... I do not feel that there is any cause for worry at this time. After all, there may be someone there whom you recognize. Huh? You shall understand if you need to see for yourself. You needn't worry. Okay. The world on the other side of this mirror is one that you can reminisce battles that you've already experienced. Further still, the laws of logic work differently. Though. There may be battles to be fought that go against the rules of light and dark. The experience should prove invaluable. I don't think I quite get it, but the mirror does have a strange allure, I, I admit. By the way... There are two mirrors here, but do they both go to the same place? No. The first mirror leads to a world where you can train yourself. The second takes you to one where two can experience the same as one. The first mirror lets me train myself. The second lets me someone experience the same thing as myself. A picture is worth a thousand words. Well, maybe you can't do me. I, I never, since I never played this, I don't know. Uh, if that's just the, the two-player story options only there. I didn't, uh, I was hope, kind of hoping you could do two-player during the campaign. I mean, maybe you still can, I don't know. Our first game, sure. Hi. This is the Mirror World. I am not the Pios that you know, but rather I am another different Pios. I shall ensure that you do not get lost here in this world. Would you like to hear about this world? Yes. Very well, then. Allow me to explain about the nature of this world. It is identical to your own, save that time itself does not flow. The memories of the battlefields you have conquered run far and wide. 
Calling upon the memories of such fierce battles is one way to impro of improving one's skill, is it not? This world is one where you can select to live out such battles that reside in the depths of your memory once more. Should you wish to return to your own world, step once more through the mirror. The question is, how do I choose the battles? Extra, extra, I've got some new info. Want to know the scoop? Hello, I'm Tiaras. Is there something you'd like to ask me? Is there the Tiaras of the other world? You don't know who I am? So I can still go to the same shops and stuff. That's funny. I have stuff that needs to be identified. I do. Hero. Bandana plus one. Shoulder guard plus one. Oh, I have another uh, card thing. Y'all come back now. Sorry, hold on. Okay. The funny thing is she's already oh, pretty fat. Oh, she can't equip any of this. Con 30, she only has con of 29. Uh, hold on a second here. We have a heat X health jacket. Is this just is it all is this just like better better? Yeah, heat X health jacket plus one. Take it, girl. Why does that seem to be quit? Oh, okay, because when I clicked over this, it said... Wait a second, I'm confused. Oh, this has an HP plus 40 effect that I was unaware of. Oh, because it's a tough shoulder guard. Oh, well, um, here, girl, take it back. There you go, buddy. Is it just that I have no battles to remember right now? Is that the problem? <laughs> Is it that, I, you know, all those were technically like tutorial-like battles? Or enter headquarters? Okay. Maybe we have to go here. This world allows you to vicariously experience those battles residing within your memory. Please select where you would like to deploy. Oh, okay. Oh, 
have another level to distribute. Uh, let's see. Anybody else with levels? Take one of them with me. Let's see, white little search. Now, I think I can technically play as one of them now. Let's go! And I can have Xeon be my partner. Oh, whoa, well, now. Here, let's take Mao, why not? So okay, please go. Auto, two player. Okay, yeah, so auto, because. Well, because. Awakening power. So I can try just playing as other people now. Yay! experience. Still, not bad. Not bad. It's kind of neat playing as the other characters. Let's try another one. like a pretty good metal. Let's do encounter with a spell. Right. Um I think we'll try playing this now. Well that's interesting. I just noted, look at the, the symbols for Elwyn, Luna, and Lazarus are different from the symbols for Mal, Vol, and Mage. That's interesting. I'm so psyched! Yeah, let's take those two. They're both nice very fast and stuff. Sorry, guys. Sorry, I keep getting interrupted.
Oh, hey, what's this? Items, link skills, system, single skills. Wait, hold on. Oh, okay. This one seems like a good one to use all the time. a nice job of beating enemies up on his own. It's wonderful. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, do I have to choose which ones I want? Or it looks like, because it looks like her things are on a, what is it? Regen items for now, for some reason. Hmm. I don't know. I think she only has a two hit combo. last time. I don't want to miss it again. I mean, if I do miss it again, I could just retry, I'm sure. Mission accomplished. Oh, no, they're only two. Okay. I don't know if that's any better than what I had before. Hey, Ganesh! The blonde. This is, in, this is actually a fairly decent way to gain levels for the other characters while not overpowering Xeon. Not that level 7's overpowered by any means, but I'm going to pick Xeon just because he's easier and I know who this that is. is I want to get Luna out here. She needs more experience. I'll have to see what her... I, never, I don't forget what her link skills is. She has the one where... Uh, she gets rid of undead things, but that's not going to help us here. Okay, I, I need to I need to get her one more at some point. Thank you. I think they do. I think the things that I actually have to kick the butt of 
Now they're up here. Let's get this. Power of the Conus. We have won. Yeah, I figured giving her the single skill thing is a good idea. Hmm. I want to get a better medal. I don't know how. Hi there. Hey, TRS. Two mirrors. Oh, using your friend's save data, you can train a full prepare Yeah, they're interesting. Automatically set in 2P mode. And any money and items will go to whichever player collects them. Then your friend can take these items along with any experience earned home with them. In this mirror world, you can also trade items with your friend. You trade. Okay, gotcha. I want to read something. Uh... Only the other characters of this mirror world is that one of the other characteristics that you can battle without Xeon, yeah. So the room down in the basement is being used as a tactical planning room, right? Do you notice that you can do important things other than just heading out to battle, though? When retreating from a battle is unavoidable, you can take the time to prepare yourself appropriately for heading back out. You can make sure that you're ready ahead of time for other battles. Uh, equipment screen, chat screen, but I can do this anywhere else, too. Uh, radar. What's radar? Uh, information. White is player. Green is partner. Yellow enemies, orange are leaders, red is a boss. Blue and large pink marks show special locations. The pink will be involved with clear conditions. After meeting the clear conditions, the light blue mark will show the location of the flag. Okay, radar is helpful. Oh, interesting. skills. So if I get her shining, shining's the link skill. Let's turn undead, we don't need. Spiritual War's kind of okay. Guardian Sun. Summons the opal snake to suck the breath of life running stealing damage and healing the party. I need to get her a level up. Now uh, let's see something. Take gold as well. And I'm not gonna get in chests, I'm not gonna do anything other than blaze through it, kick in the butt of the the spies and see what happens. Oh. 
Mission accomplished. We got 34 seconds. That's got to count for something, right? Whirling dervishes. There you go. Now it's a bonus XP on that. Nice. Alright, I was going to talk to the rabbit girl and find out what exactly the requirements were for some of those. Um, I mean, she's almost five. It takes a lot to get levels, though, huh? Not that that's a bad thing by any means, but... Talk to me about titles. Um, is that in quick hints? Oh, Dark Soul and Light Soul. I bet you've noticed that your personality changes a bit depending on who you go to battle with, huh? It actually changes depending on whether your partner is a Dark Soul or a Light Soul. If your partner is light, you'll be dark, and vice versa. Whether you're light or dark will affect, some of these, affect your normal attacks and skills to some extent, so plan your strategy accordingly. Oh, okay. Bonds with companions. You're getting along with your pals at the Heroes Hearth, I hope? I bet that a lot of them are dependable comrades in arms and very humanistic people. If there's someone there who thinks highly of you, then you have to take care of them back. Your bond with someone like that will likely be deepened through fighting alongside one another. If your partner is taken out in combat, don't just leave them there and try to finish things yourself. If you take care of one another, then you'll form close bonds that'll last long after the fighting is over. Sometimes there might not be an upcoming battle planned, or maybe, this, there, or, or maybe there will be something to deal with beforehand. It pays to be proactive by gathering information and getting yourself ready to move out. After all, something could come up at any moment. Uh, play rank. Uh, let's see. If you need a lot of enemies and don't run away, we will be fun, uh, fighting heroic knights. If you both rack up the huge chain count, chain knights, whirling dervishes, these will all earn you a bronze rank for. Okay. What the rest of this on your own? Gotcha. I might just do some some uh, training on my own. Um, Otherwise, let's, um, let's get one more training battle out from our, our things. Um, well, let's go here. We'll do Zeon. I will not fail. I'll do you. This is my destiny. That way. I want the snow. Uh, that way she can kill the undead things. And she should gain a level here too.
souls, may you rest in peace. Power of Draconis! Did she gain two levels? Nice. We have one. That'd be pretty freaking sweet. Heroic Knights, yay! Go us, we Let's go appraise some things, and uh, well, I'll call this an episode. I gotta go to bed. It's getting late. Greetings, hero. Gotta sell some of these. <laughs> Fire level 20, damn. Weapons gain the fire attribute. Magic Rouge, plus magic, Ruby Charm. Fire resistance, this will be lightning resistance. Let's go for it. Y'all come back now. Now let's go over to here. What can I do for you? Well, you can take some of my crap that I don't need. Like all of these. You know. It's so weird that it's on a quick when it starts like that. Ah, no, no, no. Decent number of materials now, huh? Uh, let's see. Five. Silk hat. Strength 35, int 45. Circle plus three. Strength 44, int 56. Wow. Okay, so this is like a random good item. Does anybody need anything? You don't have anything. You can get a cloak, though. So let's get you a cloak. And you can't get any of these. So we'll get you a cloak. Thank you. You're welcome. This is magic. Let's uh, give that her here to her. Just to give you something to hold on to. Same here. Same here. Just so you guys have something. Oh, you can you equip this? Hey, there you go. We got you a heat X bandana. Awesome. Um, I think that's it though. For you. I know what I need to do. Well, when I get a chance, I've got to uh, talk to what's his face, Hios, and uh, get him to take these cards off my hands.
All right, let's go through this mirror. I want to go back to the real world. I have cards for you. Just take them. I don't need a fancy thing. Gizmo. Oh, gizmos! I know what that's supposed to be now. A sentient gaseous life form that is the result of an evil spirit's failed manifestation. Gizmos used to be fierce in Shining Force, too. Those things cause all sorts of trouble. And I just got a second black cat card. Let's save our game. And then we'll call this an episode. Alright, I will see you all later. Bye guys.